Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit And you ain't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you Hey y'all, it's Free TV and we're back with another video When I tell you I literally just rushed out the bed and came the fuck outside <laughs> that's what i did oh i'm driving because it is currently 2 43 my tent appointment is at three. Oh, i didn't even tell y'all what we doing today today i'm giving y'all my car revamp i'm excited that i'm able to do this for the new year i got this car in december i first had a ford focus um I don't know the year. Ford cars are a piece of shit. Like seriously, they're a piece of fucking shit. My dad fortunately bought me a whole new engine after my engine kept fucking up. And it still was fucking up. How are you gonna be an $8,000 engine and still be fucking up? Like, I'm sorry, I never heard that anywhere. Like when I say fucking up, it had the same exact problems it had before I got a new engine. So it's like, it's the car. It's how the car is made it's a piece of shit anyway crashed that totaled that now we're on to this one. Oh, i wish it was super clean and shit before i went to the tent place because like now they're gonna be touching all my shit back here but oh well i didn't ship was last minute to be honest like so whatever i'm gonna go and get these tents which this is what i've been waiting for to start this video i have so much car decor in my fucking room and i can't wait to finally put it the fuck out because it's been building up right now giving us fish bowl actually like weeks later since i got my tents that's the last thing y'all seen wow that is a lot of eyelash glue don't mind that all right right now i'm at the car wash i'm about to clean this fucking car vacuum it and shit so i can finally 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 decorate it if you don't know this is my new fucking whip 2022 honda hrv ex i believe i got in a fucking crash in november december no I don't fucking know when. <laughs> I just know I got this new whip in December. Yes, paying for it by myself, big girl things, yeah. Let me be pressed, okay? I grew up very much fortunate. My parents paid for a whole bunch of shit, so I'm very proud of myself that I'm paying for this by myself, like, period. So I wanna take care of it. I want it to be clean. I want it to be decorated. I wanna be comfortable in here, have all the essentials I need. And it just snowed, so like it's like white dust all over my car. So I'm actually gonna get an actual car wash as well. But let's get to cleaning that. I just found this in my back seat. This is not mine. I've never seen this before. And I don't fucking sit in the back. So I've never, I literally never seen this. So let's, it feels like some stuff in it. Hopefully it's like maybe $300 or something like that. Hopefully. Um, and they're playing music. So I can't like talk to y'all while I film, but y'all still gonna see what I'm doing. Anyway, let's get into this. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is my homegirl's wallet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to tell her. This is my homegirl's wallet. And it definitely was filled with money. My bitch is rich, period. But I'm glad I found this. I can return that to her. Now let's keep cleaning. I thought I was ready to come up on some money or something, but I'm not ready. That's my homegirl shit. What?
wash right now. I should take a video of what it looked like on the outside before I'm about to get it clean, but shit, y'all don't need to see that shit anyway. The new 2022. Okay. All right, y'all. decoration stuff i still want to get some more but i have enough to make a difference and it's building up in my closet so we're gonna get it done first thing i have is my steering wheel cover it's supposed to be like a black sparkly i didn't want to do my car pink um i don't know why i just i'm kind of not growing out of pink but i don't really want like my environment pink i'd rather have it like black gray some neutrals like you know keep me peaceful i feel like pink is very intense i rather like my purse is pink my um i'm gonna change my keychain to be pink so i was like I, I can have pink accessories i just don't want everything pink at least for me that's just a little bit too intense so we are doing black even though the interior is already black i don't give a damn oh my god can this fit okay uh do I like it? It's not really giving. Yeah, it's not it's not really giving, to be honest, but okay, let's see what else we have. The wind is winding. So we have a few things. These are my floor mats, but I wanna put these in last because I don't know. Like I wanna put these in and then not have to get back in the car. Like if I put these first, I'm still gonna be stepping on in the shit. I don't wanna do that. So that's for later. I have this, what is wrong with the fucking exposure or whatever? I have this blanket that was gifted to me for Christmas, but it's very important to keep a blanket in your car. You don't know if you're gonna be stranded or what is going on. I just think a blanket and an extra pair of clothes is essential. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the trunk, which I love that I have an SUV now because, ew, stop. I love that I have an SUV now because the I can like climb over the back seat and get in the trunk. In my other car, it was a hatchback. You can't you can't like dig in the trunk from the back seat. You're gonna have to actually get out the car, open the trunk. You feel me? I like that I can just throw shit back there, dig back there if I have to, whatever. Okay, hold on, let me get my scissors. So this is my trash can. And honestly, I played this so smart because I asked for, like most of this stuff was gifted to me because I made an Amazon list and the people bought from it. So they basically decorated my car for me. So thank you. It's like um, vacuum seal. This one's not like super pretty, but it's um, reliable and it's like efficient because my other one, it was like cute or whatever, but the, but with every turn, the trash is falling out. This one, it has like a lid and the trash don't fall out. So it came with instructions. I don't really think I need it, but let me take a quick look. Right. Directions, put into side strap. The fuck are you talking about? Oh, this? Oh, I should have two. Oh, I do have two, okay. Oh my gosh, and then it, okay, that's how you close it. So this is what it's giving. It's pretty big, pretty spacious. The um, trash shouldn't come out of this, especially not as easy, because my other one, it was just an open space right here. Um, and I had like pink trash bags, it was super cute. 
but I'm going to hang this on the back of my passenger seat. And I chose my passenger seat because when I'm driving, I can easily reach back there. People in the back seat can reach back there and then the passenger can just do what they fucking can. They're the passenger princess. I don't care if they're struggling. We have a mirror. Y'all see how I got the setup? Y'all leaning on my purse. Anyways, because I don't even have a stand. I should have got one, but my dashboard is kind of diagonal. Like it's not um, straight. So I don't know how that's going to work trying to get a stand to hold my phone, but shit. I need one to be honest. But this is a mirror. I have one of these mirrors in my old car. Basically, it lets you see your blind spots without having to do a head check. And I will say it comes in handy. Here's what it looks like. This is the back. So basically, you can put it, it doesn't matter which way you put it, but these pieces slide down to fit your mirror however it fits, whether it's smaller, bigger, whatever the fuck. Then you just put it over your real mirror and boom. This is super hot, y'all. And y'all see, y'all can see my back windows like that's what it's for to see your back windows you see your back windows so you don't have to do your head checks you should still do it obviously you shouldn't like really just depend on this but like it it helps to be extra safe oh i think okay yeah these are my license plates i still have a license plate that came from the dealership it's called safford brown if you are looking to buy a car my experience there, it was cool. Like the buying the car process was cool, but the only thing is that the lady, the um, dealership lady, I don't fucking know what you call them. She was a little bit inappropriate with my dad, <laughs> but that's all. Before, before she started doing too much, she was pretty cool, pretty nice. So yeah, anyway, so it kind of matches the steering wheel cover y'all see with the black sparkly look. It actually, is not sparkles it's like well i guess it's like black rhinestone i guess but yeah these are my license plates so i saw the dude at the um dealership he has switched out my temp tags for me so i i saw how he did it so i'm gonna make sure i do this i'm not gonna show y'all my license plate so i'm gonna do this off camera but it's giving like do y'all see the vision it's giving glam but like not too much like everyday gal glam i was kind of in my old car i had a a decal on my back window it was uh, it said blessed it was pink it was girly like yeah and i actually didn't what the fuck <laughs> i actually didn't really like it because um a angry ass man followed me home and i feel like it's because he knew I was a girl. Of course, I had a fishbowl too. My windows are tinted in this bitch. But y'all know. Y'all seen it. But yeah, I mean, I had a fishbowl too. So he probably could see through the fucking window that I was a girl. But like, I just feel like having stuff like that on the outside. I don't know. I feel like if I was a dude, he wouldn't have followed me home. Personally, that's just my opinion about it. So I don't really like the outside of my car to be looking super girly. But these are cute. I'm about to turn 21, so if anybody wants to follow me home, please do. Please do. So I can teach you a lesson. Let me teach you. Let me teach you something. Let me teach you something, for real. This, oh, okay, cool. So these are like little pocket things that you stick in between the seats so you don't keep dropping your shit down there. I got these in gray. They're really nothing special. It's just so I don't drop trash or my lighter or my phone, headphones, whatever the fuck in here so it is kind of too small because i can like keep pushing it down but shit if it does its job i might not care let's see oh i gotta get it no it's falling to the fucking floor <laughs> yeah it's too little let me see what i can do about that okay so this is what it's giving with the spacers i can't like really push it down anymore um maybe i'll put another one on this side so you just stick it in like this to keep the pocket up and then if you drop your phone boom oh my god <laughs> period all right period 
yes now that i have it decorated i have to do some car videos like drive with me smoke with me whatever the fuck i can do with my car all right we only have a couple of things left this black rhinestone it could be a tissue oh it's tissues in there period they already gave me tissues all right it could be a tissue holder i was thinking of using it for masks like you know covid masks but um since it already is filled with tissues i'm gonna leave the tissues in there i'm pressed as fuck yep and with some tissues it opens like that and then you just um make sure you slide it with these onto one of these like what the fuck is that called i don't know what that's called i'm gonna put it on my passenger side though Okay, this is how it looks. So you just should be able to pull one out and it's gonna be super convenient. Especially because I eat my car on break at work. So yeah, like wipe my face really easy. Hmm. That mirror also came with like some little gadgets, but I don't know. I don't think I wanna put this around my push to start. Maybe, let's see. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute, y'all. This is what it's giving. Okay, these are some pillows, I believe, for the head. Comes with two. Good thing I don't have to get into my car until later to give these some time to puff up. But oh my gosh, it feels good. This, it's black with silver rhinestones. And you can unzip it if you gotta wash the cover or the pillow. Then it has the clip. So, this goes over like this. That's so cute. And honestly, I should get some for my back seats just so it could be super, you know. I'm definitely gonna get some more decorations because this stuff is giving. I was in my minimalist era when I bought, well, when I asked for this stuff, but I want some more shit maybe. Just maybe some more shit. Now I want to talk about this console right here. My middle console. I have this old black pouch that I'm going to put in there. I was saying I have this black pouch I'm going to put in there. What I have in there right now is my car spray, my car freshener, my blunt spray, whatever you want to call it. This is the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. Any spray works for real. I like these room sprays because they're very concentrated. So it works for everything. Room, car, blunt spray, like it does this big one. And then specifically this Japanese cherry blossom, it smells like a new car, but with a tap of femininity. And I like that. So that's why I picked this one. I'm gonna put it in this bag. What else I have in this bag? We have some floss picks. Like I told y'all earlier, I eat in my car on break for work, so sometimes, you feel me, I be cooking steak, chicken, corn, all types of shit. Sometimes I just need a quick little, you feel me? We have some Tic Tacs, just for whatever you need. Like, you don't, you never know when you need Tic Tacs or when you're gonna talk to somebody that you don't want your breath stinking for, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially like, let's say you, you brush your teeth, wash your face, cool, you go on a long road trip and your mouth was closed the whole time. And now like, you know, just, just to freshen up, damn. Oh, guys, wait it. We have a lip gloss, which this is actually my favorite lip gloss. It's more of a lip oil, I would say. Not really a lip oil, but it's not like a super sticky, like shiny, thick lip gloss. It actually moisturizes your lips while being a lip gloss, if that makes sense. So, like I said, it's not super shiny. Okay, don't embarrass me. Yeah, it's not like super shiny, but it does its job. It kind of gives like a natural type of shine, which I like that. We have some eyelash glue just in case my homegirl's eyelashes is lifting. My eyelashes is lifting at the club. We got to freshen up right quick and a lip liner. So I do want to put like a little edge control in here and maybe a little edge brush if I can find that or just an edge brush in general because nine times out of ten like that's the most thing that i'd be wishing i had like something to touch up my edges so i'm definitely gonna pick that up and this is going in my middle console we have a another bag for my dashboard 
console is that what it's called i don't know this is just a pink little bag that i already had before what i have in here is a mini perfume just in case i have i need a quick spray some lotion oh this is lavender scented some lotion because bitch like you you know you need lotion the only other thing i have in here is my deodorant this is super fucking big if i had a smaller one i would have um picked a smaller one but i wanted to spray one so if i need it i can use it if anyone else who's riding in my car needs it they can use it without it like being unsanitary you know oh i also should put some hair ties and like bobby pins like claw clips maybe definitely gonna put some of that in here as well and then i also have a wide tooth comb i feel like a wide tooth comb is very um like universal no matter what style i have nine out of ten this can be useful to me my straight hair this my natural hair this curly hair this like deep wave wig this okay next thing well the last thing before the mats is to switch over my registration information this is what i got it's black and sparkly yes ma'am i think i ordered this from either timu or shein honestly i don't remember which one but it was really not expensive at all and this was the the one that they gave me like come on the black one is eating way better than that and now we can finally do the mats the part i've been waiting for so these are what the mats look like i hate 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 that they put their fucking logo right there um that pissed me off but i did like this um black quilted pattern i think it's super cute the mats are in we have them in the back as well okay i don't know if i like them to be honest i definitely might get something else but for right now they're doing their their job okay y'all uh, i'm loving my car i'm so happy that it's more personalized to me it actually feels like my car now especially since i took that fucking dealership tape off my mats <laughs> but thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you enjoyed me subscribe comment down below any videos you want me to do um it could even be videos out of my niche like it's not vlogging beauty shit like that still comment down below whatever challenges anything like because i'm up for anything i do youtube for fun i always wanted to be a youtuber but i was like i don't know not scared but i guess just self-conscious about what people would say but honestly like uh, i'm 20 i don't give a fuck like bro i'm too old to be giving a fuck like to be honest so that's why i'm doing it now and i'm being consistent have y'all peeped the bitch is consistent but yeah okay bye y'all Thank you.